What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, there was a, a mild drama today in Abuja as the FCT minister was blocked from leaving Abuja today by NSAS uh, protesters. You get so I have the video clip. I'm going to play the video clip. I want you to just stay put. I just stay tuned. Uh, today, being Sunday, was actually um, a spiritual service for uh, NSAS Christian youth. You get as they, they stage what we call a prayer walk across the various states of the nation. Uh, this is Niger State. And uh, these youth are actually staging a prayer walk and um, they are praying to God. They have not actually left religion out of this. They have not left our spirituality. And um, they are praying to God that God should intervene because the problem of Nigeria today is spiritual in nature. It is beyond what we see in the physical you know, so these youth are actually praying. They are, they are they are giving out their sacrifice. Many are already dead. Just recently in Osho State, I think two protesters, NSAS protesters, actually died when police opened fire. You know, on on the protesters, maybe in, on, on trying to defend the governor or so. But according to the news we heard, um, they said that it was. The police are opened fire on the protester before the thugs actually responded, but we don't know. We are awaiting the outcome of the investigation. But however, today, the end, the minister of the FCT, who recently issued a ban against NSAS protests in Abuja, you know, was blocked today. He was, he was totally humiliated. He was humiliated. He was blocked from leaving Abuja today. And by so doing, he missed his international flight. So I'm going to play that video now and then I'll be back. Come on, go on the side, go on the side. Come on, go back. Presidency, presidency, kill you there. Presidency, kill you there. Presidency, kill all of us there. Come on, let's go on. Come on, come on, go on the side. Come on. All right, guys. So as you can see, the revolution is on and the youth are actually, um, they're angry. The youth are angry. You know, and uh, for over the years, the youth have been shortchanged, and um, our future. Just recently, we all saw our Buari, you know, uh, got loan from China, and that loan on how to repay it is going to be a very serious problem. And you know, China is a world power, and you know that the terms of that loan agreement is was not transparent to Nigeria, even the House of Assembly. Um, were not actually briefed on the actual, in fact, they even discovered some clauses in that loan just recently. You all saw when the House of Rep Committee on Ethics and, um, on Ethics, and I uh, did loan also something like that, grilled uh, Rotimi Amechi and asked him some questions. That was when it was uh, that clause on us was actually discovered. So, guys, the youth are trying to get back this country from these old fools. They are trying to get the country back because um, this country, right from inception, have been very corrupt. There have been no future for the youth. That's why you see a lot of Nigerian youth travel out of the country to find greener pasture elsewhere because there are no um thriving ground here for them to actually thrive and compete there's there's none here at all you get you finish school there's no job for you you go back and start all over again so the youth here are holding a prayer session praying for the intervention of god and you, you on friday you all saw how the muslim you see in this answers movement now religion is there is no religion sentiment. You saw that in Abuja ground, you all, we all saw how the Jumat prayer was held in Abuja ground. Those who were Muslim faithfuls of the NSAS movement prayed, and then the Christian also had their own prayer. Today is Sunday. The Christians are holding a prayer walk, praying, and you know what God said, what God told Solomon? He said, if my people who are Call by my name, will humble themselves and pray. And I, the Lord from heaven, I'm going to hear and heal their land. So, right now, these evil men 
our politicians, they are very jittery and they are afraid because they don't know what next is going to be the demand of the protesters. It could be the protesters who ask. In fact, Aisha Yusufu, you know that lady? She is the mother of the youths. Aisha Yusufu have asked that the youths should demand for the cancellation of all allowances. In fact, allowances should not be paid to National Assembly members. You get, you imagine a situation whereby a National Assembly member will be earning more than 50 million, including allowances, constituency allowances. I don't know the actual figure, but I think recently somebody exposed the secret that each senator is going with a basic salary of 9 million. That is just basic salary. Allowance is not included. 9 million naira. You get you only just to sit and talk rubbish. You get so that is a very serious um, issue. But meanwhile, uh, our youth, our brain, the future of this country, you get, uh, they have no place to thrive. Even for Buhari to even pay common COVID 19, I mean, um, COVID 19 palliative, it was very difficult. But guess what? These senators were paid. NCDC came to, in fact, it, it, it was exposed that NCDC, you get, NDDC, I mean, not NCDC, NDDC, Niger Delta, you know, um, uh, Niger Delta Development Commission paid the senators, the National Assembly member, each of them, I think they paid, was, that, was it that much? Was it five, five million for COVID-19 palliative but meanwhile, the ordinary poor Nigerians were not given any palliative at all. And you need to see what they were given during when they said Lagos State Government and some other uh, state governors gave up palliative. It was just, it was ridiculous. So guys, the youth are trying to get back this country back. They are trying to claim it back. And if care is not taken, there have been several threats of the federal government deploying military to end this a protest and if they do that's going to spell doom and it will bring about the end of nigeria you get if care is not taken these guys will begin to cry for a break if i don't begin to cry for either restructuring or they might begin to cry that nigeria they should end nigeria and if they do you know what's going to happen united Nations is going to wait in and a referendum will be conducted and guess what is going to happen? Nigeria will cease to exist. Nigeria will split into several geopolitical, according to the geopolitical zones. Southwest will have their own Oduduwa. South um, East, or maybe South East and South South will have Biafra. Middle Belt will have theirs. So the entity called Nigeria will come to an end. And so they know this. They are trying to trade with caution. However, they have no option than to now that it's not too late to actually sit down with the youth and actually discuss with them, give them, I mean, speak in the language they can understand. Youth do not understand that language where they say they will set up a committee to look into that. We want immediate action now. You know, this, our youth are vibrant, energetic, and we don't understand the language of delay. We, we understand the language of the noun. So, guys, what do you think? I want you to drop your comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think that the treatment that was meted out on uh, the FCT minister, do you think it was justified? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Malcolm TV. God bless you.